In our church, we run a three camera Mevo system that can be run through either Mevo Multicam app or ProPresenter 7. Obviously, it can also be run through OBS or any of the other uh, vMix, Streamlabs kind of pieces of software that you install on a computer. I do wanna show you though how I have these mounted and then walk you through the process of getting sound from our sound system into these cameras. So I'm running this CCTV mount that I've talked about before on the channel. And in this particular Mevo Start, I am running an output from the soundboard directly into the three and a half millimeter jack. I do power these all the time. They are always powered and I leave them on all the time. And the CCTV mount is jointed enough that I can get it out from underneath this ledge where it is hard mounted and pointed in the right direction. In the center of the church, I have put an electrical conduit from the ceiling so that this camera is mounted about head high. It's just a little bit above my eye level, almost dead even. And so it's a good steady shot if I'm going from over there, which is just a little bit below to here, which is just a little bit above. And then the third camera that I have here mounted at the church is also underneath the ledge mounted to a CCTV mount. Now this one is close to my wireless router, so I have run it via ethernet. This one stays connected to ethernet all the time. It's a hardwired camera. The other two are running through the router that this ethernet camera is attached to that sets up there in the light tray. It's not the best look that I've ever seen, but it's incredibly functional and I stream without fail every weekend at this point. Uh, once we got the internet speeds we needed, we were able to begin to have success every weekend and I don't lose a stream at all. Our method of running these three cameras, as I said, either runs through Mevo Multicam or through ProPresenter 7. And I go back and forth. Sometimes ProPresenter 7 gives me a little bit of difficulty in sending sound to the stream. And I don't know yet what the glitch is, I just know sometimes I have to reinstall all my inputs in ProPresenter 7 in order to catch the sound again. I am certain it's user error, and I'll get it figured out one of these days. In ProPresenter 7, I have my inputs set up and my capture settings set to 7, 20, 30, two and a half megabits per second as my stream. I'm streaming to an RTMP destination because we like to go to YouTube and I don't have a thousand subscribers on my church channel. When I look at my input settings, video input here at the bottom, I can go in and I can choose inputs that are here. So you can see what I've had before, the three views that I have. And then if I do the input configuration, I have one of my audio sources being the board. It is set to auto on. And I have the other one being a Rode Video Micro microphone pointed at the audience and it's also set to auto on so that I have audio from everywhere. Now the source, no matter which camera view I've chosen, I have audio consistent running from both of those. You can set them to always on if you prefer in both of those settings. To set up the Mevo cameras in ProPresenter 7, you do have to turn NDI on, and mine are not turned on that way right now because the last time I streamed, I did so through Multicam. But to find the place where you're dealing with cameras in ProPresenter, if you wanna go through the menus, you can go through preferences and then inputs. And this is the area where you would deal with your cameras and your audio. In dealing with sound into our stream, we've recently had a PreSonus Studio Live 32X digital board installed. And in this digital board, sound out of the board through one of the mix outputs. It is mix number eight. It runs through this light channel via two connected 
XLR mic cables. On the other end of those two XLR mic cables, I have this XLR to three and a half millimeter adapter going into the back of the Mevo Start so that whenever I am mixing sound, I have control over every input that comes into the board going out through the mix. I can tune it and I can get a very good quality sound from the soundboard into my stream. And then adding that Rode Video Micro to the mix for audience participation kinds of sound does give me a very good experience for those who are watching from home. Let me know in the comments what your church is set up with as far as streaming ability to get your message into the homes of the folks you're trying to reach.